Hey y'all, my GoPro doesn't have much memory left on it. I've only got one memory card, so I'm just gonna film this piece by piece. The, uh, of course got the intake off last night. Um, I was able to use my, uh, this is for like a flywheel, getting flywheel, excuse me, uh, fan, cooling fans off the old style where they were uh, spun up to the uh, front, like the water pump pulley. Anyways, I got the thickest pegs that I could find for it. Um, as you can see in there, and luckily this, this crank had holes, um, and I've already loosened it, and then I just took a big breaker bar, and um, I've already loosened it, and it was well tight, so I'll have to make sure I do the same going back together. Sometimes they have ridiculous, sorry guys, sometimes they have ridiculous, uh, torque settings for this stuff, like the Chevys, the newer ones. All right, there we go. Got our crank bolt out. Um, get this going. I'll probably, I'll keep this around. Uh, well, let me see here. Let me see here, do I wanna get it to, let me see if there's a mark on here. Um, I'm sure there is. Let me turn it off and get the timing mark lined up so I can at least get a head start on uh, getting everything set. All right, y'all, I found the uh, timing mark. It's a little notch and I uh, guess you feel it with your fingernail right there. And I just put some white paint in there. Or some, what's it call it, paint? Tire paint. So, got a red on zero there, and we'll make sure that the uh, cam gears, sprockets, whatever you want to call them, are lined up, of course, before we can belt off. I just want to get a kind of a jump start, and luckily our balancer came right off. Let me set that down there. All right, now, next thing I'll do is get the front covers off. I'm not gonna film that, so we'll start with this one, which is a cool inspection cover they put on there and then we'll get the main one off and uh here's another inspection oh that's cool very cool supers are so nice all right y'all got the uh cash i don't remember oh yeah i got the cover off everything came off great i do have a small portion of the, the cover seal on the bottom where some oil's been leaking it's kind of pooched out so my plan for that is to kind of trim it and um Silicone it together before I put it together. This part here, it's just, it doesn't, uh, it's swelled because of the oil. So I gotta cut just a teeny sliver out of it, clean it all up, of course, and I'll put it back together with a little silicone to kind of repair, do a little, a little joint repair. So when I lined up the marks on the front cover, I didn't, it, it was, the marks were off. So that doesn't apparently matter. So the center uh, here is, Crank pulley, got that all lined up. I did mark the belt, even though we're gonna replace it, but just, it helps if you're running into trouble, you at least have another set of marks effectively. And I'll also mark the belt, which way is which, you know, which way it's, in fact, I'll be able to know because I can read the numbers uh, from this side. This one has a mark on the uh, cover, the cover backside there. This mark really doesn't have one on here, but I've gathered that, let me zoom in here. I need to get a magnet light. I've gathered that um, basically it's the seam where the valve cover bolts up to the head. So pretty legit, um, you know, we'll be able to go back together. We've got resources too, but Anytime you take something apart like this, you just want to always, uh, what the heck did I have this yesterday? It's like... Sorry guys, oh sorry. Just trying to flip, set that up. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do, I did see on a video where a guy just started removing uh, some of the idle, idler pulleys first. So I probably will do that. Um, let's go ahead and take a video of, of which one's which here. What are we gonna use this going back together? Let me zoom out here, what am I doing? Come on, baby. All right, so this lower left pulley by the oil filter is the orange one. 
I've got like a dark gray one or whatever here, black, whatever you call that. Um, and then I've got this blue one that goes with the tensioner, which that's obvious. And then this one here, so I'm assuming this is just a carrier, just another bearing. Um, and of course this is the water pump. So this, the gears below the tensioner, that are black and gray and are orange in the bottom. So, all right guys, so I'm gonna get this belt off and then we'll basically be done for the end. I'm not gonna take the, uh, well I might, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm gonna take the water pump off tonight or not and let it kind of drip. I probably won't, we'll see. I don't wanna have a bunch of oil and coolant laying around. Sometimes I have the dogs running here with me, so. Uh, we shall see guys, but uh, this is what I wanted to accomplish today. We're just about there. And then probably Friday I will finish with getting the heads off. So there you are guys, over and out. All right, y'all, we got the belt off. I'm gonna leave the water pump for tonight. Um, I'll probably go ahead and get the uh, dipstick out and the valve covers, and then just do that at the last moment before I get the heads off, kind of get everything uh, drained out and all that. And of course, what I'll probably do is just take the thermostat off and drain everything completely. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and film this. So I have these plugs, I'm not sure what they are. I'll have to look it up. You guys probably know if you know Subarus. Um, but they, uh, it looks like they're leaking. The oil leak we were looking at before. Um, so, mm, I don't know what else could be leaking. I'll have to investigate a little bit. Um, so, like back behind up here, find this bolt, you know, whatever that is, maybe, but obviously these plugs look like it's, looks like it's the culprit. Um, and then this one looks to be about the same. So I'll have to research those and maybe we'll throw some new seals in. I have zero idea what those are at this point. There's another one there. Plug. You always want to research that type of stuff and don't just take it off, of course, because um, like especially with transmissions, because they could be holding a gear in, a hold, uh, basically bolting a gear or something just from the outside. And you could, sometimes it jiggly that people would, for, would not know and um, do that. And you'd, you'd loosen it up expecting it to be like a drain plug. And then you'd hear a big thunk inside the transmission and you realize you just got fired. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm done for the night. Tomorrow, Friday, I'm gonna, uh, these are parts group there tomorrow. No, not tomorrow, but Friday, I will get the heads the rest of the way off. So, we're good to go. So, all right, guys, over and out. We'll see you next time. All right, y'all, we're back at it on the Subaru. Tonight, I'm just gonna Take off this driver's side uh, gear, whatever you want to call it. Sprocket, I'm just the uh, words escape me. And to get off the rear timing cover portion, and then down here, we're gonna get that piece off. And then I think we're just gonna go for the valve covers tonight. Um, tomorrow, I will get the oil that I already drained dumped, uh, get another thing out, get all the coolant drained be ready for sort of a little bit of a mess when I get the heads loose and of course tomorrow I'll I'll get the heads off and that'll be a nice little finish to a, a leisurely week of work on this old Subaru so let's get to it all right y'all we have gotten the valve covers or the rocker covers um, off of there and um, it's important to note I think I was a little bit confused when I first looked at this but yeah this is this section here is just a top plate of the, it's screwed down or bolted down to the actual head. So this uh, passenger timing, it looks like it's turned just a tad, but um, it's at that seam there between those two. So I'm gonna double check all that, but what I'm gonna do tomorrow is get it jacked up in the air first. I'm gonna look at what it would take to jack the motor up, how simple it is to get it off the motor mounts. I might do that just to make it easier to get the 
head bolts on and off, really. It's not a big deal if I don't, if I, if it's too big of a thing, I'm not gonna do it. Of course, I have to do the dipstick still. I'll probably just uh, swing it out of the way. And then I'll probably take this off just not to damage it, the cam sensor. And then um, after I get it jacked up in the air and I assess if I want to raise the motor up and down, I'm going to go ahead and drop the uh, thermostat and the water pump, get all the coolant drained out. If I do have everything up in the air, well, it'll be fine once I get the heads off. Anything else that's in there is going to be in there. So, yeah, like I said I've, uh, earlier in the series, I've never really worked on a Subaru engine like this deep into it so this is pretty cool it's really simple it's well engineered and uh as you can see here there is a lot of uh gunk build up and of course a little bit of dirt got in there from when it popped the covers off but uh it does not look like this thing was well that well maintained um i'm sure a lot of the coolant that was mixing with the oil is added to that sludge but it's Overall, it looks like, and then it could be just the coolant mixing with the oil. On second thought, but I'm gonna get the ground off, and of course that. Let's, why don't we just do that really quick here? Um, oops. Let me get my ten. I gotta unload the GoPro so I can uh, get, get the head cam action going. I really need to get a second memory memory thingy. All right, there's that. And um, I think I'll just yeah, I'll just put this over here. You know, what this little short is for. Um, let's just put that just right over here. Shorty with the timing cover, so that's good. Uh, let's switch this out here. Oh, that's a fourteen. Let's get this one. Yeah, this thing's coming right along. So again, tomorrow I'll get it up in the air. And um, I'll just put that right back there for now. It's a very unique bolt, but we'll just leave it. Um, get it up in the air, get all the coolant out of it, get the heads off. Then I'll probably do some grilling. I have an eye of round, which is a very lean cut. Um, and uh, those of you who've watched my, you know, grilling videos, but uh, it's basically just roast beef. So I'm gonna get that because it's been in the freezer for a while. I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna smoke it. It's gonna be good. Then I gotta re-up on some some good stuff. So I'm just gonna cover these. Uh, I've already got my gloves off. I'm gonna leave those uh, spark plug boot seals. One of the nights. Yeah, this is all I wanted to do. I'm gonna head inside, get some office work done, and uh, be back on this thing tomorrow. Over and out. All right, y'all. We've got the uh, Subaru um, up in the air a little bit. Um, we're going to um, look at the bottom here. Again, getting these heads off. We got a. Uh, the bracket right there for the trans cooler lines. We've got our three exhaust nuts. The uh, motor mount, motor mount bolt nut, I'm sorry, is right there. But we're not gonna mess with that because there, there's not a lot of clearance there in the back, the transmission dipstick tube there. So uh, if, even if we undid the motor mounts, there's not a lot of room to get it up in the air. And of course, what we're trying to do is just have a little bit more uh, You can see it there, that inner bolt there that's closest to the uh, subframe, but we'll be able to get it. Um, that's pretty much it, the exhaust on the other side. And then of course we're gonna uh, get our thermostat uh, housing pulled off, mainly just to drain it, all the coolant out. And then um, we will slowly, I'll probably film maybe a little bit, a little bit before I uh, do the heads, but again with the, uh, loosening up the cylinder heads you want to uh loosen them up basically opposite or basically in reverse of the torque order so basically starting at the outer kind of working your way in just do it evenly um, you don't want to warp the head or anything like that 
So that's it guys, we're gonna get to work. All right y'all, we got the heads off. Took about an hour or so to get everything undone. This driver's side was kind of a pain in the butt to get out. There was one more bracket, it's 10 millimeter in the back that I had to get off after I got it, the head off, it was a pain in the butt. But, and also this bottom bolt really butts into that. But everything came out great. Um, I forgot that I, well, I remember I drained the radiator, but apparently that drained most of the engine block too. I am going to uh, get this thing lowered back to the ground at some point, just to help drain out any other water that's in there. And then um, here are the heads. This is the passenger side and the driver side. Um, we'll definitely get them shipped out to a machine shop shipped out to a machine shop and uh, have them go through and get them all cleaned up and in the meantime I'm gonna we do have these are this the parts that dad ordered my dad ordered um, it's actually a full gasket kit looks like so that's cool and uh, so we'll basically put everything on hold till we get the heads back and then we will basically just go back together of course start out with cleaning the, the deck there we'll probably measure it Mm, excuse me, probably need to do that um, sooner or later. I'm gonna put a straight straight edge on it and just uh, make sure that no light's peeking through across the deck. Um, I don't suspect any issue, any problems with it. The gaskets were pretty much just faulty. So, pretty common on these, those of you who've been dealing with it, so. But that's it for now, guys. Uh, we will film some more once we get working more on it. But uh, we appreciate uh, everybody Tuning in on this 01 Subaru Forester. We are getting her done.